Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. This sucks. This is a bad intro. Welcome to Widget Lads. Um, we're going to really run the filament through the machine this time with a cooling bath and we should be able to 3D print some of our filament. I have this cooling bath now, which sort of um, helps with uh, the plastic not being molten and, and cramping up in the, in, the, in the puller. And we have a black screen, so we have a better contrast with the filament. Uh, so this run, we should be able to make filament with a specific thickness, which we can test in our 3D printer. All right, let's start the motor. And there it goes. So last time we managed to make some filament. So let me start the motor. All right. Okay, and this should go through the cooling bath, but right. Uh, and now I need to add this wheel. Oh. <laughs> That didn't really work. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to increase the speed a bit. So much fun. Uh, okay. The thickness was just a bit too small for the puller. So it was... Ah, Jesus. <sighs> Let's take a small break and I will try to fix this small problem. Okay, second try. Let's see if it works this time. Okay. Hmm. Increasing the speed a bit. out of the cooling bath at first and then although this is not completely perfectly aligned we get quite a good result now we have a setting where we are sort of continuously producing filament okay so now we are producing at a constant thickness of around 1.75 millimeters uh, so this means that we can now take a long piece of this, put it in the 3D printer and see if it will work. As you can see, we have produced quite a lot and this should enable us to 3D print for quite a while. So uh, let me just uh, run this for a few minutes. Five minutes later. Hereby starting the official first section of 3D filaments. All right, we made this. It's amazing. It's so much. And we're going to use it to print something. So I finally did it. I finally printed the first thing ever with my own filament. It's Benchy. This is the thing everybody seems to print when they test their materials or new 3D printers. And you use it to see how good your 3D printer or material is. So I printed this one with my material and this one with... Uh, <laughs> this one with um, the material I bought in the store. I accidentally broke this off. Didn't came like this uh, out of the printer. So, um, well, if you zoom in a bit, you can see that uh, my plastic still has some whiskers after the printing. I think this has something to do with that the temperature was a bit too hot for printing. You also see some small defects where there wasn't enough plastic and you got these uh, small openings. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it printed the thing and it, it looks like the one with uh, the material uh, which I purchased from the store. So I can say this is quite a success and I'm quite happy with it. So now to see if it's worth it, I'm going to run the numbers. All right, let's run some numbers. Let me put on some glasses. 
So if I buy this in the store, it's 1950 euros per kilogram. I have no idea what does this in pounds or stone or whatever. We're just using metric systems. Uh, one euro is 1.90 dollars. We buy the, the pallets from the, the same store. They are around 8.50. When I'm producing my own filament, I will keep 11 euros per kilogram. I build my machine for, let's just say, 1500 euros. Um, then it will take me 15 divided by 11 before I break even on the investment in my extruder. This is a lot. How much do I use? Time for one kilogram filament to be used up is between 150 and 200 hours, which is sort of equal to one week. Makes this 136 weeks. Two years, 32 weeks. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's quite long. It's not what I've imagined when I started the project. Doing this whole budget thing, I'm sort of finding out that extruders are not for everyone and you need to make a commitment to 3D printing to make it worth your while. If you want to 3D print continuously for two years and 32 weeks, then you break even. And after that, then it's worth it. This is a calculation I haven't done until I finish this project. I'm sort of realizing the amount of time I need to put into 3D printing before I earn my machine back. However, if I would have 10 3D printers running at the same time, I can lower this number like with a factor of 10. I can be, uh, make more prints with more uh, printers. And I of course assumed that the price is 850. However, if I can buy plastic in bulk, I sort of can tweak this to a lower amount, two to four euros, which also is a lot, but makes this investment quite profitable. So we're done here. Okay, so uh, there we have it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And to see if these things actually float, let's just test them out. Um, well, maybe if I just, um, if I, <clears throat> well, they, they don't, they don't float.